Good morning, everyone. Today I'm sharing on five ways to handle career envy. Um, you may think envy is a bad word. Yes, it's a bad word, and it happens in career as well. So it is what it is. What it is. How do you handle it if um, it happens to you or if you know someone that it may happen to? So can someone please explain to this young lad what career envy means? Just quickly unmute your mic in layman terms. The, way the Harvard know. graduates, they will envy him. Look at his shirt. Hmm. <laughs> you? What else? Career envy. What does it mean to you when you just hear the word career envy? Well, the first career envy. Okay, so that's, that's basically what it is. You are envy because of your career as the term implies. And um, Harvard Business Review says last year about more than 75% of people said they actually went through career envy. And you can imagine it may increase this year with the pandemic. So uh, there's a need to address it. So let's get to it. First of all, control. You may not be able to control you, um, the emotions you feel, like when you, have, when you are envious of someone. However, you can control how you react. So it is advised that even when the envy does happen, you should try to quickly come out of it. For example, your, your colleague is going to get promoted and you are not, and you are even feeling bad about it, that you are supposed to be happy for your colleague and then you are shameful and, you know, you should just come out of it because um, it happens, okay? So while envy comes, anticipate it, accept it, and then try to snap out of it the best way you can. Secondly, shift from comparison to curiosity. Envy usually is as a result of comparing what this person has that you don't have, why is this person's career booming or going faster than mine, all right? So you have to prepare your mind to not just stay at the comparison level, but actually ask the person, be curious, oh, what did you do? What have you done? What has your journey been like? How come your career path is uh, moving faster than mine? And learn from the person rather than remain at the envy stage okay so that's shifting from comparison to curiosity it doesn't have to be in the formal setting all the time it can even be in the informal setting okay so we are going to five uh, just to recap can someone remind me what the first way of handling career envy is control control your emotion control your reactions to the emotions thank you secondly Shift. Shift from comparison to curiosity. Thank you. Third way of handling envy in career is moving towards the person you believe you are envying. You may think you want this person's position. For example, you are a um, junior manager. Of course, you are aspiring to be a, a manager someday. But even at that level that you are, you, it seems as if your, your colleague is getting more attention. Move closer to the colleague. You may even find out that it may just be the way the person is doing their job that you actually envy, not that position or not the person. And then you realize that your own contribution is as important. But if you just stay far away, you may, you may not be able to um, realize that. A fourth way to handle career envy is to view your job or your career or your, your careers as pockets of investments. What do I mean? Don't central your life around your job. Get other things that excite you. Get them doing. For example, you may have eight to five job and still blog about something you have interesting, photography, you may even like traveling. Guess what? Someone might see your post and call you to come and present somewhere else and then you get fulfillment from that as well. So always try to view your job as a career as pockets of investment and not what your life is about. It will help you in handling career envy. Finally, and I believe is the most important to me, life takes us through different paths. The earlier we accept it, the better for us. It will help us to manage such career envies. You can see this man is training, right? And then in the next slide, you are going to see a mother also trying to teach her child. Guess what? Both of them are doing what? They are teaching. They are 
transferring knowledge. One is in the boardroom, one is in well, work from home or in the house or in the classroom at different levels, but they are both adding value. So if you can decide and um, remind yourself that life paths, life takes us through different paths, does not make me less um, successful than the next person to help us in managing any career envy. All right, so let's recap. What are the last three that I just mentioned? Can we remember? Life paths. Yes, life takes us to different paths. Thank you. Move view. Review, view your career as pockets of investment. Thank you. And the last one was move closer to the person you seemingly are envious of. So I want to quickly ask, do you think career envy is a good thing or a bad thing? Just unmute your mic. Good, bad, or chat? It Just tell bad. Good. Bad. Okay. Yeah. It depends on the scenario. It depends on the depends. scenario. It depends. Okay. okay. <laughs> diplomatic answer but i agree with you it depends because career envy can actually go really bad if it's not handled properly which is what inspired me to actually talk about it because it happens so the best thing you can do is make it work for you learn from the person you are similarly envious of and get better at yourself thank you very much for your time my name is Tiwa Detoye you can send me an email for us to further this discussion i got my images from on splash google and Excels. I will take questions and comments now. Thank you.